Hi guys, question we get asked quite a lot here at Caltech. How can I tell if my diesel car has a DPF or a cat feed? I'm um, not going to get into the differences of how they work and all the technicalities, but just from a visual inspection point of view, I'm just going to explain to you how you can identify which one your vehicle is going to be. So if your canister has pressure pipes and also EGT sensors, little sensors coming out, we're not on about the big lambas here, uh, you do have a DPF fitted. Um, there is a couple of cars where you can be in a situation where, like I'll give you an example, the 1.6 TDI VW Polo, things like that, where you've got a cat at the top and a DPF down at the bottom, the pressure pipes are mounted down there. Obviously still in a situation with DPF equipped vehicle. Cat generally you've just got the canister itself. It can be like the previous one I've just shown you, a big canister going straight down the back of the engine, things like that. Generally you'll just have one lambda sensor, no pressure pipes, no EGTs. You know, if you're still at the point you're unsure if you can get an endoscope up, it should look like that. So all the honeycombs right next to each other and you probably won't be able to make it out on camera, but you can generally see that little bit of light through if you look through. On a DPF, if you're to look at the one side of it, this is all generally always going to be the back side because you can get stuff like the transits where you've got the DPF and cat in one canister. Cat generally comes before the DPF, so you're looking up sort of the tail of it. You see how we've not got the holes next to each other like on the cat? Some of them are blocked. So you can identify that sort of diamond formation and you know straight away 100% DPF. And that, from a visual perspective, I think we've covered all bases. Um, yeah, and that's that.